For these kids and their families, it's been a really rough few years. They've been living through one of the worst droughts on record. The grass was all dried out and there was, the ground was all cracked up. School wasn't as good. When we were sitting in the classroom, we'd see dust storms rolling over through the windows. Sometimes it was way too dusty to play on the oval and stuff like that. It was pretty bad. They live around a town called Carragabal in New South Wales, about 400 k's west of Sydney. And like lots of the state, it's been dry for years now, making farming really hard. Nothing would grow. There was no grass anywhere. And every day we had to feed the sheep. We didn't, because they couldn't eat anything off the ground. And we had to feed them hay. We had to sell most of our sheep because we just couldn't keep them alive. My family was really stressed, so I was kind of a bit sad because I didn't, I wasn't able to see my um, parents as much. You kind of feel like bad, but you can't really do anything to make it better. Many drought-hit towns have been living with strict water restrictions, which meant cutting back on stuff that some city people might take for granted. We got letters from them during the drought, and they were like, "We're trying to take like 10-minute showers," and I was like. 10 minute showers, we wouldn't even take 10 minute showers here when we were in flood. We used to have like three minute showers and then we had to have um, one minute showers and we weren't allowed to have baths because it took them up, took up too much water. We tried staying positive by not talking about it as much, by just acting like it was another day with, it, with or without rain. But then, finally, it was what people across the state had been waiting for. Rain. I remember we used to joke about what's this stuff coming from the sky when it used to come, acting like we never knew what it was. What we did when it was starting raining is we all went in the rain and just danced in the rain because we were happy to get it. This month, a third of New South Wales has been declared drought-free. Experts say some areas had more rain by the end of February this year than the whole of 2019. It's been kind of like um, something lifted off your shoulders. It's meant that I can spend a lot more time with Dad and help out a bit more on the farm. The crops are growing, they're going very well. We're getting lots of water and starting to get a little too much water because, yeah, and it's just, it's amazing. There's heaps of stuff to eat for the sheep, and then you can sell them for heaps of money, and then you can buy heaps of stuff. While there's been plenty to celebrate in places like this, Australia's drought is still not over, and there are lots of communities that are really struggling. That's why these guys say it's important to remember that while rain can be a little annoying, it can also be a real blessing out here in the country. You may get rain all the time, but rain for us out here is a gift.